guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I have a special guest, my cousin Mila. <laughs> for this video, we made some anime cheese. <laughs> so weird, sorry. So for this video, we made anime jeans. I saw a video on Instagram, which was originally from TikTok. I don't have a TikTok, so I saw it on Instagram. And then I showed Myla, and then we saw that the company that made those jeans were called Secret Heart. Secret Heart Club, or? I think Secret Heart Club. Yeah, so Secret Heart Club. So I'll link that down below because that was the inspiration for this video. You know, support your small businesses, mm -hmm. anime businesses. Right. And so what we did was we made these jeans. So I had Sailor Moon. And mine's from a manga called Happiness. Happiness. So we have only like different, what's it called? Genres, I guess. Themes? Themes, <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, they're both, different style. yeah, different style because like more, mine is more like, happy i guess and then yours is kind of dark yeah, it's like grunge <laughs> yeah so hers has like a more edgy vibe to mm -hmm. it and we also made matt's jeans because he saw us making these so he requested for this anime which is it's uh darling in the franks yeah darling in the franks so we'll show the whole process of how we made these jeans and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It was like a good bonding moment for mm -hmm. us. Because yeah. I, ha I haven't even drawn anime in like so long. Oh, me too. Like, when was the last time that you drew? Probably like when I asked you to draw yeah, for like Yeah, I think Matt's, so too. I was going to say for that. Matt's, was it his birthday or yeah. was it our anniversary? I forget. I think it was, no, anniversary. Anniversary, yeah. yeah. So I asked my I'll insert a photo here. <laughs> she drew like a picture for Matt and I for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. So she's very talented and you know, of course, gotta ask her Thank to join you. the video. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share to a friend if you like. And let's go on to the video. I think that was okay, okay right? Let's yeah, I think it will <laughs> so these are the before shots of our jeans. As you can see, mine started out in a darker wash, but I ended up changing that later and I'll show you how I did that. And Myla's jeans were a little loose on the waist, but we just went ahead and adjusted that as well. What we used were these Arteza fabric markers that I got off of Amazon that I'll link down below so you guys can purchase as well. It's dual ended so there's a fine tip and a thicker tip of the pen. We also used the fine tip sharpie. I purchased that later on in the video. I just realized that the Arteza ones weren't as fine as I wanted them to be. These were the reference photos that we printed out. This just acted as a guide for us so that we would be able to play around with the placement and see exactly where we wanted the images to be on the jeans. So this was Myla's first draft of the placement of her jeans. I know that she moved some things around and this is what mine ended up looking like. Since Myla had a lighter wash, she was able to do a sketch before with pencil and then she went over that with the fabric markers. Since my jeans were a darker wash, I had more of a struggle. I wasn't able to do a sketch beforehand, so I kind of just had to wing it and draw with fabric markers. So yeah, that was kind of frustrating and scary. <laughs> Since I didn't like the wash of my jeans, I felt like far away you really couldn't see what I drew. I decided to bleach it, so what I did first was follow the instructions on the back to set in the ink. So I ironed down the places that I already drew at, and I was just hoping at this point because I wasn't sure if the ink was going to fade or disappear completely from the bleach. 
So I filled this tub with water and I put on some gloves. Make sure you wear gloves when you're dealing with bleach. I'm not even sure if I use the right type of bleach. Is there different kinds of bleach? I don't know. But yeah, you just kind of mix those two together. I kind of just eyeballed it. Then I put my jeans inside and I made sure that it was completely soaked underneath the mix. I put some weight on top of it just to make sure that everything was evenly distributed. I didn't want any floating parts so I just used empty water bottles and jugs that I found laying around the house. So anything that you can use works just fine. And I waited for about 30 to 40 minutes before I could flip it over again and I just repeated the same thing by putting the weights on top. It wasn't as light as I wanted it to be. I figured that I probably didn't put enough bleach. So what I ended up having to do was to take out my jeans and I added more bleach. And once I did that, I waited about 15 to 20 minutes and I could see that it was getting lighter. So I flipped it over again and I waited another 10 more minutes before taking it out. I put the jeans in a plastic bag just to prevent any drippage in the house so that I could throw it into the washer. Make sure that you change the temperature to cool or cold. And yeah, it ended up being a really nice light wash. So this was the first time that I did this, so I'm pretty proud of myself. There was a little fading on the ink, but for the most part, it was really intact. So I was very surprised, but I mean, I guess that is what it means when it's a permanent fabric marker. So yeah, it works. I wasn't able to get a lot of shots of Myla's jeans because she worked on it at home, but look at that detail! So good! I adjusted the waist on Myla's jeans because they were a little loose on her. I pretty much did the same thing that I did in my last DIY video. So I'll go ahead and leave a card right here so you guys can go ahead and refer to that. Here are a few clips of Myla and I working on Matt's jeans. So this is from the anime Darling in the Franks. And yeah, I think we did pretty good. <laughs>
on the back, she on top now. She used to wanna be, but she not now. She used to wanna be with you, but nigga not now. It's kinda funny how she put herself out like that. And now you talking that blah blah blah. I'm up here, rolling that la la la. Give it to her, ready to spin, da da da. 